group of people, some of the nomads, who have not really committed themselves properly, wholeheartedly to Islam at the time. They came to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they came to Medina, and they were bragging, making a show about their faith. So they were bringing the concept of we are believers, we have believed in conversations, in their statements, and so on and so forth. And in one, at one point, they brought that to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and there was a hint of them sort of making the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi feel as if they have, they have extended a favor to him. That we have accepted your message. We have become, we, we have believed in you. So this is a reason that you should treat us differently. You should appreciate this, that we have won over you here. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals, قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ Some of those nomads, they said, we have believed. We are people of faith. Say to them, O Muhammad. Say to them that they should say, we have become Muslims. We have embraced Islam. We have committed ourselves to Islam. And the true Iman is yet to manifest in your heart. Is yet to take root in your inner dimension. So, the Prophet ﷺ here fixed the terminology for them. His Iman is a holistic state. Iman starts in the heart. The root of Iman is in the heart. Then it translates itself. And when we say the heart, it's your inner dimension. It's who you are inside. It's the core of your being. And this manifests itself because humans are expressive creatures. This expresses itself in the form of speech. So you say the Shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. So when your heart submits, when your heart commits, your tongue is going to express this. So if you make, you declare the Shahada, then you make dhikr, you recite Quran, you enjoin the good, you forbid the evil. You, you, you recite the, the different adhkar and you, you, you invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then it expresses itself in the form of action. Your heart expresses itself externally. You pray, you obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you fast, you're going to do charity, you're going to help those who are in need, you're going to be forgiving, you're going to be generous, you're going to be fair and just. That's what Iman is. 